Hello everyone, my name is Brian from East River Pilates and this is Good Stretch with Well and Good. Today, we're gonna to be doing a nice pre-Pilates stretch. This is perfect to tag along at the beginning of your Pilates workout or really any workout or just whenever you want. Today, I'm very lucky to be joined by the absolutely stunning Chloe De Winter of Go Chloe Pilates. <laughs> And let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and come to standing at the middle of your mat, and we're just gonna start with a nice, good reach of those arms down by your side. Stretch them up towards the ceiling on a big inhale. On an exhale, dive the chin to the chest, roll down. Find a little touch of your toes, good. Find a moment here to make sure we're really pressing into the big toes if you're really rolling out. And just take like one little cycle of breath here, easing the knees, we want easy knees. Good, we're gonna go ahead and get a little deeper bend of the knees, getting the chest closer to the thighs and start to roll up bone by bone here, keeping the head really heavy. We'll do that a few more times. So reach the arms all the way up. Nice, get a good stretch. And then tuck the chin to the chest, dive the hands down, soften those knees, find a good hamstring stretch, nice. We're gonna move through it a little quicker now, so soften those knees, roll all the way up, and do it again, nice. <sighs> Starting to wake up a little bit of sequencing in the spine. Some nice good stretch for the backs of the legs here, nice. And as you bend the knees and roll up, you'll start to press through the feet, good, nice. Bending those knees down, rolling all the way up. Two more just like this. This should feel so good. I love a roll down. Me too. I know. <laughs> Pilates teachers will always love a good roll down. Nice. Nice, beautiful. Big bend of those knees. Now roll all the way up. Come to standing and we're gonna make it a little bit more spicy, but still finding a good bend of the knees. So reach the arms up, sit the hips back. It's kind of like a squat and then exhale, press all the way up. This time, big arm circle back, open the chest. Keep on going. Sink into those knees, good. Stretch the hips forward, stretch the chest forward, nice. So we kind of went a little internal. Now we're trying to open up and get a little bit more external here. As you're finding this like little bend and straighten of the knees, we're also just getting a little bit of heat in the backs of the legs. So this is perfect if you sit a lot and you're about to do a little bit of a workout or even like a run, whatever you want, just to encourage a little bit more blood flow through those muscles, good. Nice, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit more here. <sighs> Pay attention now if you're really like keeping the eyes low and not looking up through the fingertips. We tend to kind of just keep the head forward. Really luxuriate in this opening sensation. Imagine you're like oh, swimming through a big ocean up to the surface of the water, woo! Or you're on like a luxury rooftop pool. How nice is this? Yeah, give yourself a setting. We'll do two more. <laughs> Good, and one. Beautiful, we're gonna meet in that squat. Little hold of that squat. All it is is a good stretch of the knees, right? <laughs> Good, finding a little bend of those knees, getting a little bit more heat through the backs of the legs. If you wanna take a little pulse here, take a little pulse here, nice. We go for five, we go for four. You might even feel a little heat in the shoulders. Three, I do, two. And fold this forward, nice. And walk hands forward or feet back into a downward dog. Oh, bless. <sighs> <laughs> I could pay rent here and move in, honestly. Deep inhale and exhale. Oh, we bend the right knee, keep the right knee bent and sit into that left heel. You're gonna go ahead and shift your hips side to side, almost like you're wagging your dog's tail here, nice. Feeling a nice little stretch through the back of that left leg. You might even feel tingles. That's getting a nice release for that sciatic nerve. Beautiful, you're gonna go ahead, bring the hips center. Reach the right leg up to the ceiling. Oh, open that right hip out, nice. And kick that heel into the glute, really pressing that left heel down. Beautiful, feeling the head and the chest sinking down. Finding a nice stretch through that right hip and quad. We're gonna take a deep inhale, reach the toes back up to the ceiling. On a big exhale, pull the right knee to the chest, step the right leg forward, nice. Drop the left knee, that back knee down, and reach the right arm up, big twist. Drop the shoulders away from those ears, releasing the neck. 
And then take the right hand down to the right thigh. Left arm's gonna reach all the way up to the ceiling and then it's gonna side bend to the right. Stretch that left side waist. If you feel like you need a little bit of balance, you can even take the right hand down. Oh, you can also increase the stretch like that. If you're like me, I always need a side bend. My side waist, honey, they're tight. <laughs> left arm lifts all the way up. You take the left hand and the right hand down to frame the foot. You're gonna start to flex this foot. Keep the chest really close to that thigh. If that means you bend the right knee, great, but sit it back. And then inhale forward, good. Exhale, pull the hips back. Keep that knee as bent as you need to keep the chest closer to the thigh. I'm someone who tends to have a little bit of tightness through my hamstrings and glutes. Chloe's someone who actually has very mobile hamstrings and glutes. So it's a good like way to kind of see two different abilities as far as stretching the backs of the legs. I always feel tension in my hamstrings and glutes, always. Good, nice. We're gonna go ahead now, straighten this front leg any amount. So if that means that you're here, that's great. If that means that you're fully straight, chest completely over the uh, leg, that's also great. If you feel a lot of hamstring tension here, I do encourage you to walk the right hand to the inside of the left foot. It can feel a little bit better as well. Nice, deep inhale and deep exhale. Maybe you take a little ankle roll here. Oh, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. It is. <laughs> nice, there's a lot of connection of ankle and back of leg to hip. How we use our feet really determines how we use the leg. So we wanna find a lot of good mobility in all parts of ankle, back of leg, and hip. Reverse those circles. Oh, nice. And if you get like that, just breathe. If your face is really pinching when you do this, like mine just was, relax it. It's not gonna help the stretch any to pinch your face. Nice. Really flex that foot, pull the toes back. Take a deep inhale, try to stretch that spine. Deep exhale, deep inhale. Oh, bend the right leg forward. Hands come to the mat, tuck the left toes, lift the left thigh, right leg steps back, down dog. Pedal out those feet. Woo, can you feel a difference in the legs? Yeah. I know. Big I'm dips. like, wow. <laughs> Good. This time, bend the left knee, sit into the right hip here. Wag your dog's tail. Oof, yeah, you should feel just like a good, almost like static TV in the back of your leg. I wouldn't say it's most enjoyable sensation, but it is a sensation. <laughs> good, nice. Finding those hips center, inhale on an exhale. We reach the left leg up, open up that left hip. Kick the heel in towards the glute. Nice, got a good stretch here. Trying to twist the left rib cage forward. So here it's really tempting to open the chest to the left. Really try to spiral that chest down and let the hip do that twisting, good. Left leg reaches back up towards the ceiling here. Deep inhale and exhale, pull the left leg in. Find a nice runner's lunge, Ugh, good. Drop that right knee down. Left arm's gonna reach high, big juicy twist. Open the chest here, find almost a sensation of back bend. So how can you get a nice, yeah, good. Resist that like rounding of the upper spine here, nice. Left hand goes to the left thigh. You reach the right arm high to the ceiling. Big side bend over. Open up that right side waist. You can also feel free to get a little squeeze of your right glute. Boop. <laughs> if you need a little bit more stretch for that right hip. Again, left fingertips can go down if that's available to you, if you need a little bit of help with that balance. Deep inhale and deep exhale here. You lift the right arm all the way up. Right hand goes down to frame that foot. You go ahead, keeping that chest as close to the thigh as you can. Flex that foot, sit it back towards the back foot. Nice, and return. Now, I have a big difference between my left and my right leg. So I know like I'm not gonna try and like jam this hamstring back to what I could do with my right leg. I'm gonna be like, okay, cutie, you need a little bit more love. We're just gonna go ahead, keep a little bit more bend of the knee, good. Nice, we have grumpy days too, and so does your hamstring. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Oh, it should feel kind of good. Really connect to a sense of enjoyment here, especially even more so if you have tight hamstrings. The more that you're in, a, you're in a stretch and you're like, this feels good, the more you'll do it and the more you'll want to do it. Start to straighten that leg out. Good, if again, you keep a bend in this knee, that's great. 
A lot of times we think that that decreases stretch in the hamstring. What it's doing is actually making it more appropriate. And sometimes if you soften the knee, you actually can get more stretch in the low back as well. So there's benefits to all of it. Good. Remember, any stretching is better than no stretching as well. <laughs> Good. Start to take a little circle of this ankle. Oof. Yeah. It really just takes your breath away sometimes, doesn't it? Like your beauty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one. I know, we really just know how to compliment each other, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> good, start to reverse those circles. Oh, nice. And again, if this is your tighter side, just like give her a little love. I always feel like, you know how they say, if you talk to your plants kindly, they grow. I imagine that with my muscles. <laughs> I like, the more you talk to them nicer, the more they'll stretch. <laughs> good. We go ahead, bend the left leg in, take both hands to the inside of that left foot. Left leg will step back. And wouldn't you know it, we're actually all done today. So thank you so much. I hope you're feeling a little bit more stretched. This has been a pre-Pilates stretch. Again, my name is Brian from East River Pilates. This is Chloe De Winter from Go Clo Pilates. You have been watching Good Stretch with Well and Good. And for more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe. Take both hamstrings and have a great day.